Hello friends, we are on quadratics and today we are going to have this maximum and minimum values of quadratic functions. Okay. Now, when we have a quadratic equation or quadratic function like y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c, okay, where a, b, c are constants and essentially a is not equal to 0, correct, then the curve that we get over here, it is parabola. Okay, now, what is a parabola? Parabola is locus of a point which is equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line. Okay, uh, this is very uh, uh, mathematical, but then uh, if we think of the trajectory of a projectile, okay, I have a football here, I, I kick a football from here and it lands into the goal post here. Okay, so this profile or this path, that path, okay, that path is called parabola. Okay, now one thing about parabola is you can find parabola uh, in the curve of reflectors of lights or then uh, you know satellite dishes we have okay that profile is basically a parabola okay so now uh, you can have a parabola like this or you can have a parabola like this okay now these parabolae they are symmetric about y axis or vertical axis you can also have parabola which is symmetrical about x axis or then you know you, uh, you can have any any line about which a parabola or any axis about which a parabola is symmetric okay so now when we have a parabola like this okay you would note that if this is my y axis and this is my x axis here then this point okay this is the maximum point this is the point where y has got maximum value okay and then there would be value of x x equal to let us say p for x equal to p this y has got maximum value this point is called maximum of this uh, quadratic function or then when i have a quadratic function like this graph of quadratic function like this okay then this would be the minimum okay minimum value or minimum of quadratic now this when does this happen when do you have this kind of parabola or this kind of quadratic function and this kind of quadratic function now here when in this equation when my a is greater than 0 then I have a u-shaped parabola okay and when I have a less than 0 or a negative negative value of a okay in that case I would have this kind of parabola okay now over here in this section we are interested in finding the maximum and minimum okay maximum and minimum of a parabola now obviously when my a is greater than 0 so coefficient of x square when it is positive then I am going to get this type of curve and for this you know there will be minimum okay minimum value of uh, uh, of that function okay and then this point at which you get minimum or maximum here okay this point let us call this point a point a here <coughs> this point a it is called vertex of that quadratic function okay let us see let us have uh, a couple of examples here the first example first equation that i have written over here first function it is x square minus 6x plus 5 okay let us do that now when we say a quadratic function i'll just write that function here y is equal to x square plus 6x plus 5 okay now i would be interested in three things number one general shape of graph or curve number two maximum of that maximum of the function and number three would be the points where this curve is going to intersect our x-axis and y-axis so i would say uh, intercepts on the axis when we say axis 
it is intercepts on the coordinate axis that is x axis and y axis in this case okay all right so how do we find the intercepts first of all uh, for x intercept for x intercept what do we need for any point on x axis its y coordinate is zero so what i'll do is i'll simply equate this uh, right hand side to zero so i just put here x square plus 6x plus 5 okay or um this is x square minus 6x here and i'll write x square minus 6x plus 5 okay i'll just put it equal to 0 now i'll follow the simple uh, simple method method of factorization so i can write x square minus 3x uh, uh, x square minus 5x minus x plus 5 equal to 0 so x into x minus 5 minus x minus 5 equal to 0 so x minus 1 x minus 5 equal to 0 so that gives me that gives me x is equal to 1 and x equal to 5 so these are the roots of this quadratic equation now it means that this curve intersects my x axis at these points so the points of intersection so suppose i uh, now since my um, a is equal to 1 so a is greater than 1 so i am going to get a parabola having this shape okay u shape okay and x equal to 1 and x equal to 5 so that means uh, this point oh okay then if this is my origin then this is this point is 1 comma 0 and this is 5 comma 0 okay i have not said anything about what happens with y now for any point on y axis its x coordinate is equal to 0 so i'll just put x equal to 0 here and then my y would be equal to y would be equal to 0 minus 0 plus 5 correct so point of intersection of this curve with y axis would be 0 comma 5 correct all right now that means uh, uh, you know my uh, intersection with x axis is 1 comma 0 and 5 comma 0 and that with y axis it is 0 comma 5 okay now when we have to find the axis of this parabola then the axis of parabola would be it would uh, it would bisect this chord correct it would bisect that chord so that means the axis would be this line okay so if i call this point a and this point b and m is the midpoint of ab then what would be the coordinates of m it would be 1 plus 5 that is 6 6 upon 2 that is 3 so this point m would have coordinates 3 comma 0 right so that means my vertex now if i call this vertex c okay then i know that x coordinate of c is equal to 3 okay how do we get y coordinate of c for that we use the quadratic function here okay so what i'll do is y is equal to now 3 square minus 6 into 3 plus 5 so that is 9 minus 18 plus 5 and how much is that so 14 minus 18 that is equal to minus 4 so y coordinate of c is minus 4 so this point is minus uh, 0 comma minus 4 and then coordinates of c would be 3 comma minus 4 so now 
we got we got the intercepts on the axis we got the vertex and the axis of parabola i would say uh, or axis of this quadratic function would be x equal to 3 so we have got the necessary things we uh, our basic objective was finding maximum or minimum now in this case we have minimum isn't it the lowest uh, the lowest value least value of uh, y over here now there is one more method which we can try over here i'll keep the basic equation as it is and Now, what I am going to do is I am going to use completing squares. Okay. So, here my y is equal to x square minus 6x plus 5. Now, I will make a try to make a complete square with these two terms. So, now what I need to do here is x square minus 6x. Okay. So, a minus b whole square you know i will use that logic and then i'll add 9 here so plus 9 but then i cannot just add 9 i have to subtract 9 so subtract 9 and then plus 5 as it is here okay now i am going to take this okay and then this becomes x minus 3 square minus 9 plus 5 okay minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4 now here you have to note one thing if you put x is equal to 3 what happens if you put x equal to 3 then this becomes 0 and then minus 4 isn't it so the minimum value of y would be minus 4 okay so i get minimum value okay minimum y is equal to minus 4 okay and and then x is equal to at x equal to 3 i got this minimum value right so and if i put x is equal to 3 um x equal to 3 here okay then then the point the the coordinates of the point of minimum would be 3 comma minus 4 and so this would be point of minimum and is it not the same thing that we got here right so this method of uh, you know completing square okay and getting the uh, minimum value over here it works really faster isn't it so maybe you know rather than going for the earlier method but of course over there you have to uh, you have to get the intercepts with the axis right so for that anyway you have to equate this to zero and maybe factorize and get the intercepts on the axis okay so over here i can say c is equal to three comma minus four the minimum value of the quadratic equation okay now we are going to the next uh, equation okay now that is different okay maybe here you can see a is equal to one but over here a is equal to minus three and that minus 3 is less than 0 so we are going to get that other type of uh, curve okay uh, here it was u shape and that is going to be inverted u shape let us see so i write the equation y is equal to or um, i'll write the function rather 18x minus 3x square minus 26 okay now uh, i'm going to use that you know method of completing square okay so what do i do for that so first of all i'll write this minus 26 here and here i'll just take this minus sign outside the bracket and then it would be 3x square minus 18x correct now i find that i can take three common here okay so it would be minus 26 minus 3 into x square minus 6x 
now i find some opportunity of converting this into a perfect square okay so let us do that so minus 26 minus 3 into x square minus 6x now it is minus 6x so i do here uh, i i add 9 here okay but then in the bracket i have added 9 so actually um this whole thing has become minus 27 isn't it so i have to add 27 to that okay so if you check again so it would be minus 26 minus 3x square plus 18x minus 27 minus 27 wasn't there here so i added plus 27 here and then what I get here is plus 27 minus 26 that is equal to 1 minus 3 into x square minus uh, or then you know I will just express this as a square. So x minus 3 square. So if we go, the, go by that other logic okay the logic that we use, uh, used some time back okay uh, my maximum would be 3 comma 1 okay my maximum would be 3 comma 1 now it is quite obvious here because if you put x is equal to 3 okay then this part becomes 0 and then your y becomes 1 isn't it and um, uh, so this is your point now if we have our uh, y axis here and x axis here okay now the curve is going to be inverted type okay and uh, what about what about the intercepts with the axis okay again we will do the same thing here what we can do is uh, we can equate this to zero okay so i would say this is my vertex okay i call this point c i'll just write here c is equal to so much hmm. and um, now let us find the x intercepts so for that i'll equate this to zero so 18 x minus 3 x square minus 26 is equal to zero correct so 3 x square minus 18 x plus 26 equal to 0 x is equal to minus b so that is minus 18 so minus of minus 18 is 18 plus or minus root over b square so that is 18 square minus 4 into 3 into 26 okay and then that divided by 2a and that would be equal to 2 into 3 okay now when we do this okay so 26 into uh 26 into 3 is 78 78 into 4 is uh, how much whatever okay so you can get the you can get the x values over here so you'll have one point over here and one point over here now from those coordinates what you will do is you will just take the midpoint of that and that would that would pass through that would pass through uh, perpendicular on x axis would pass through the maximum or the vertex of the curve okay so that is how we uh, we can we can work work things out but then here directly with this completing square okay that method gives you the maximum directly okay so these are two examples that we have given uh, uh, we have done over here uh, you will be getting a few more in the uh, practice exercises in the description right thank you so much